Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. On 16th of December, Power BI released the last updates for the year 2020. And this update is a very huge in terms of the number of features that Power BI bringing, as well as there are two main features that I would like to discuss with you. For the rest of the updates, you can see the link in the description if you haven't seen till yet. But these two features are really the game changer. One is the feature which is a new composite model. Power BI already has a feature of composite model where you can combine two or more data sources in your Power BI file or the report and then you can use them to create the dashboard. But this new composite model is the much awaited feature. I won't say it's just a new or small or something like that, but it's a huge leap in terms of what Power BI can do. Now you can connect with your Power BI dataset, your Excel files as well, as well as you can connect a connection with the uh, SQL Server data sources or using the direct query. So in this today's quick video, I'm going to explain you these two features and just let me know your thoughts about that. So enough all the talking, let's get started. So now we are going to discuss about this uh, new composite model as well as small multiples. Before going that, you can see on my screen, this is my Power BI desktop file, which I just opened and there's nothing right now. So the very first step in order to create the new composite model, you have to just click with your Power BI data sets where we are going to connect with the Power BI data set, but not only on Power BI dataset, you can also connect with Azure Analysis Services. Right now, I don't have any Azure Analysis Services model, so I'm not going to go with that. But it's similar experience. There is no difference between these two. So you can see I have one of my December 2020 update dataset over here. I'm going to connect with this. So let's create it. And now you can see I have all my tables, whichever was inside my data sets, all are appearing here. And at the bottom, you can see it's saying connected live to the Power BI data set December 2020 update in demo. So you can also change the model from here. If you will click over here, the new box would appear and it would ask you to change. But right now we'll cancel this one. Once you do that, now suppose there is a requirement that I have also some other data which is present in my Excel file or text file or any other data set and you want to combine that data set with this one. So what we can do, we'll go over there in the get data and we'll click on Excel file. Once we click on Excel file, it pops up a new message. In the message, it's basically going to say that this live connection is going to be converted into the direct query connection in order to create the composite model so we'll say yes add to local model and you will see eventually at the right hand side bottom corner you will see it's gonna convert it into storage mode or direct query now once i'm over here i can see i have the different excel files so let's connect with the sales one i can see that i have a different files over here and out of that i'm gonna select the sales file click ok once I click OK, it's going to appear the same menu that it's going to show you the different tabs or the which are going to act like a table. Then you can either transform the data or you can load it as it is. So I'll just click on this. I can see, OK, I have this different data, sample data. I click load. I'm not going to do any kinds of transformations. It's going to pop up a new potential security risk. You can read it and it's going to ask your permission. Do you want to build this model or not? Click on OK button. Once you will say then it starts going to it's going to start loading the data into your model. And here you can see that along with other tables, we have this BI assignment sales table, which is my newly created table from the Excel file and it's in the import mode while you will see the other tables are in the direct query mode not only this once you have this one you can again go and if you are looking for some more tables from your sql server databases that also you can connect for that i'm going to uh, create a connection with my local sql server for that i'm going to click over here 
and here you have two options either you can connect direct query or import let's say i'm gonna go with the import and click ok once i click on import it's gonna show me this adventure works model and here i have my different tables for example i'm just gonna select one of the table over here which is my dim geography let's say one more dim sailor and i'm not going to transform any data over here i'll just simply load the data and we are gonna have a look into our data model how the data is appearing over there so all the data has been loaded let me now just upgrade it and uh, there are certain properties i'm gonna just turn on and now you will see the different one these are from my power bi data set earlier these two tables now are coming from the sql server and this one is coming from the uh, that i created over there uh, from the excel file so that's how we can create a composite model but before creating the composite model there are certain limitations as well and you should have a power bi pro license for creating this one update number two that we are going to discuss over here is the small multiples that is the very important update released in this december updates by microsoft power bi team so let's get create for this one so suppose i have my dim product table over here and in dim product table let me select the product name so i have this english product name i bring it over here so there are many cases where we have to create some different charts more than one chart which was not available earlier in the power bi so we have to collaborate the different different chart and we have to then either group or paste into one power bi report but now right now we don't need to do that why because we have this small multiples and i'm just going to show you how this is going to work let me select the amount over here which is going to be my sales amount so this is my sales amount which i bring over here and let me create one chart out of this one so in this chart you can see it's showing me the product name by chart and rather than this every product what i'm gonna do next is gonna create the top end and top end on the basis of sales amount so let's say top 10 so it's pretty easy so we have a month table over here where we have the fiscal year so let's see what happens once we are gonna put this fiscal year in the legend so you can see that if we are keeping the fiscal year as a legend we can see the chart has been changed where it's showing data for 2010 to 2013 but we don't want the data like that we want the chart to display for each year a separate chart so that's that's where this new small multiples features is coming to the picture so you can see over here you will notice there's a small multiples so rather than placing our dimension in the legend field we are going to place in the small multiples field and now you would see we have the different charts over here so for each year we have sales amount and we have correspondingly our english product name so that you can even change to product name and sales amount to you can change your sales uh, fiscal year to i'm just going to change year now it's looking pretty cool it's a single visual we don't need to create a multiple visuals to create the different charts but there is one more thing to do it we also get certain uh, formatting features for this one for example if you will click on this chart and then you will go in this journal where you can adjust the positions layer but this is a simple one but there is other features like you can align the text in the center or you want to do in the left or right let's say center then you can adjust the position at the bottom or the top you can see it's accordingly changing over here and you can adjust the font you can make the font sizes over here like you want to make it bigger or lesser now there's one important feature is over here grid right now you can see there are two columns and two rows but if you want to make it two two rows and three columns that you can also do just click on this one and make it three it's pretty easy so that's how you can arrange in a grid layout as well 
according to microsoft there are so many other formatting options are on its way for these small multiples which are going to be released in the subsequent releases of power bi updates but remember that in january there is no power bi update is going to come so probably from the february 2021 onwards the other updates are going to be released and microsoft has already released their updates plan for the year 2021 or so so stay tuned for more videos and tell me whether you like it or not this feature or whether you are going to go with a new composite model or not or how it's going to change your life in terms of power bi report creation that dashboard creation or is it helpful for you or not please stay tuned for more videos and hit the bell icon for the latest updates